Hey, what's up, everybody from JK Forum, OB, um, Sprint Users Forum, and YouTube. Anyways, just showing another version of the video in daytime since uh, some people were crying about the quality. Anyways, so what you're going to need, again, is your OBD2 sensor, Bluetooth, find it on eBay for $35 to $45, your Evo 4G or another Android device running 1.5 or newer uh, Android, and of course, the Torque application, which I'll show you in a bit. First things first, take your uh, OBD2 sensor, Bluetooth adapter, put it, go ahead and uh, plug that into your OBD2 port. And get in your vehicle. All right, so start the screen up and go ahead and uh, download the application of course it's right here torque this is a free version launch it oh my bad let me close it yeah need to enable your Bluetooth before using it so go ahead and enable my Bluetooth Let that kick on really quick. Go ahead and head back. Launch it again. And that's the way it'll come up on your device, CBT device. Checking protocols. GJK. Connected to ECU, okay. And then to prove that it is working, you'll see right there. It's sending information. Uh, it's a little bit blurry, but you get the idea. So you're seeing information right now. Right now there's no speed. You got your intake temperature, uh, acceleration uh, on G's throttle, which uh, if you go ahead and see in the background, that's uh, my RPM, but this is my throttle. This is the amount of throttle. Uh, we got a couple of different pages so you can see uh, this is my GPS. Uh, it also has. It also has a GPS. Oh, hold on, I'm just turn down the AC. Just don't want anybody to be complaining about the wind again. It's got a GPS speedometer, which works off your phone, which works very accurately, very fast. And this is a couple other sensors. This is a, this is a layout that I made. Uh, well, just you know, pretty much you can add a, any kind of gauge, coolant temperature, voltage, timing, uh, fuel level. Uh, your RPN speedometer, speedometer again, of course, and you can go ahead and uh, to add a display, you just hit the add button. You got the option for dial, uh, a graph, or a display, or the all data. I'll go ahead and add the all data just to show you. That's how it looks, pretty much. So let me go ahead and get to another one that's empty. Add, and I'll show you a graph instead. This time we'll go with. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll go with RPM. I'll go with the large version. So there's your RPM. So you can see it in the background. And it tells you the high points. Um, this also has a feature, the ability to uh, do data logging. So you hit your menu, and got the options there for more actions. Go to actions. You got a. Uh, you can even sh uh, pull up, um, you know, fault codes. So you can show logged faults. And it's gonna request them. Of course, my Jeep doesn't have any right now, so none will, none will come up. Uh, so no fault codes in the ECU. Uh, you got the option again to see clear them, to show pending fault or the history of the faults. Um, let's go ahead and go back again. We got the ability to email the logs to yourself, toggle logging, which is like data logging, of course. And there's uh, your uh, settings for more. So toggle H, uh, heads up display mode, calibrate acceler accelerometer, uh, sense comms, communications debug log, of course, normal stuff. Um, what else have we got in here? Settings. Settings, it gives you uh, the ability to, you know, a couple features right here. Engine displacement, that's if you want to do your 
I don't have that set up, so I'm, I actually should set that up. Maximum RPM, snap to grip, uh, choose a theme, background image. So you can ch choose a background image, um, which I did on mine. I did, uh, let's see, uh, go to my all photos. I'll show you really quick. I'll load up a picture of my Jeep. It's the background. Hit back, and you should see it in the back change. Or not. What did I do here? How do I do this? Settings. Choose background image. All photos. And here's one. And I don't know, it's not changing it. It does change it though. Anyways, that's pretty much the OBD2 uh, sensor right there. Uh, that's a torque application for you, pretty much summed up. Um, if you got any more questions or any comments about this, send me a message. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut my Jeep off because it's uh, running low on fuel. So I need some gas in it so I can go ahead and take it to the gas station. So couple cool features I'm um, sorry about the reflection on the screen but you know it's pretty right out here, right out here the sun's blazing see the revs right there so I guess I'll show you that hold on Let's see if I can oh yeah it does turn it does rotate see so there you go anyways so maybe you can see that right there that's our RPM right there you can see my RPM gauge in the back all right so that's it for now guys if you have any more questions at all send me a message otherwise go ahead and hit up your marketplace for for more information on this application anyways it's hot as fuck outside and i'm gonna go ahead and get out of my jeep because it is blazing in here no ac all right hope it hopefully this is a better video for y'all